A common thing in Premiere is that you might have clips that have different aspect ratios, with vertical video being an extreme example of this. Here, for instance, I have some regular horizontal video clips, um, but I also have some vertical ones. And depending on what you add first to your timeline, um, creating a sequence is what's going to dictate the size of your actual video that you're creating. So here, if I add a horizontal clip first, and then I add a, a vertical clip after that, there's no problem, you can definitely add clips that have different aspect ratios, but they're never going to both display perfectly in the video. So in this case, when I get to that vertical clip that I've added, it's been cropped. You can see in the original that it is a full vertical shot, and here it's showing black bars on the side and the top and bottom are cut off. There's a couple ways you can adjust that. If you do want to be able to see the entire frame, you can always right click on a clip in your timeline and choose way down at the bottom here scale to frame size. That's now going to show us the entire clip. If instead you want to be able to scale it so it fills up all the black space, that's essentially going to be cropping it. You're not going to be able to see the whole image, but it would at least fill that space. You can do that under effect controls by changing the scale of that particular clip so that it can fill the entire frame. Now if you do this with a different sequence, I'm going up here and doing a file new sequence. Um, at this point, it doesn't really matter what you pick. You can always have it match the, the source clip that you add first. So instead, I'm going to make a, a vertical sequence here. I'm going to add this to my timeline. I'm going to change my sequence settings so it matches. And now I have a vertical frame. Again, I can still add other footage to it if I add a horizontal clip at this point. Um, that is, again, not going to display perfectly. It's going to be cropped into a square. But the same principles apply. I can go ahead and say all the way down, scale to frame size to be able to see the entire thing. The difference between these two sequences is that this video is going to be a horizontal video when it's exported, which is appropriate for YouTube and a lot of other settings. This one's going to export as a vertical video, which is sometimes preferable for uh, mobile video or depending on what type of project you're working on.